from How Great Thou Art, page 15. petition on page 25. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from him through the prayers of our mother perpetual help. Once more, we ask her to pray with us and for all of us and people all over the world that I may have confidence and trust in my daily prayers Assist us, O loving Mother. That I may have courage and strength in my difficulties. Assist us, O loving Mother. When I feel hurt and revengeful. Assist us, O loving Mother. To return quickly to Christ when I have sinned. Assist us, O loving Mother. When a member of the family and so many families who are not well. Assist us, O loving Mother. So many are un unemployed when we have problems with money. Assist us, O loving mother. When we have misunderstandings with each other. Assist us, O loving mother. Guide our young people in living Christ's way of life. Assist us, O loving mother. Guide our leaders all over the world to govern justly and fairly for the common good. Assist us, O loving mother. Guide employers to treat their employees well. Assist us, O loving Mother. That we may cherish and protect the life of the unborn. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide us in our loving concern and understanding for the poor and the deprived. Assist us, O loving Mother. When we become complacent with no need for God or religion. Assist us, O loving Mother. May our Holy Father, Pope Francis, receive courage and strength from the Holy Spirit. Assist us, O loving Mother. May those who have died, especially from the pandemic virus all over the world, and especially in the United States, share Christ's glory forever. Assist us, O loving Mother. Now we pray for our own personal intentions, keeping in mind Our Lady is listening to each one of you right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and to grant them through the prayers of Mary, our mother. Amen. Amen. We have the uh, petitions uh, and thanksgiving letters. There were a total of 437 petitions. 276 petitions, uh, thanksgiving, 55 thanksgiving letters, 105 private letters, a total of uh, 437 letters, sample of the petitions. Uh, please pray for me and intercede for me that my faith and trust in God will be strong. I have an interview tomorrow 
I really need your guidance as I have not been to a formal interview for the past 14 years. Mother, please interview, intercede for me. I'm now taking drugs and stealing. Please help me to turn away from these sins and pray to you always. Dear Mother, I'm nine weeks pregnant. Please stay close to me to intercede for me. My mother is suffering from dementia. Please watch over me and my family. And uh, for Charlotte in Brisbane, Australia, in a critical condition, we are praying for you and your family. Pray for those suffering from the ravages of natural disasters for the people of the Philippines, Vietnam, who have been affected from the typhoon, and for peace in Greece and Turkey. I'll be sitting for my test, Mother, and I'm so nervous even though I've tried my best to prepare for this. Please intercede for me. My sister and her husband are having domestic issues and are now separated. I seek your help to restore love and peace to their family. And thank you, Mother, for 60 years of marriage from Clifford and Elizabeth. Wonderful, isn't it? 60 years. The Thanksgiving letters. Dearest Mother, thank you for praying for me about two weeks ago my eye has shown a spot which could suggest that there was some form of bleeding. I sent a petition asking for your intercession. I went back for another scan recently and was told that the spot is gone. Thank you so much, your loving daughter. Dearest mother, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being there for me throughout my pregnancy and the birth of my beautiful daughter. The whole process was uh, scary for me, a first time mother, as I did not know what to expect. But every time I was scared, I turned to you for comfort and guidance, and you always held my hand like a mother. Thank you so much, your grateful Catholic daughter. Dearest mother, I'm grateful beyond words to you that your most powerful prayers to God I completed my national service last week with your constant maternal love and intercession. I managed to finish this milestone in my life, which I was very worried about previously. Thank you for guiding me, loving me, and praying for me. Please pray for me for my next stage of life, which is in university. I'll be having my admission test this week, and I will give my best shot to it if it's God's will. I'll be able to enter medical school successfully. Thank you, your loving son. And this is the letter of the week from Myanmar. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help and our Lord Jesus Christ, I write this letter to express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks for the miracle cure of my colleague and for me who contacted COVID-19 on the 2nd of October. Just before he became ill, my colleague, I had the pre-symptoms already, but I was not fully aware of it and keep on working with my staff at the hotel in Myanmar. My friend was soon warded. Soon I was affected. I lost my sense of smell, taste, and was coughing badly and was terribly exhausted. I prayed so hard to you, dear Mother in Jesus. I was desperate as all my colleagues are Buddhists, and Myanmar cannot provide the kind of medical attention that other countries can. I call all my friends in Singapore, especially all those who are devoted to the Novena Church. I never prayed so hard in my life. Every day, I sat in front of the computer screen, following the online masses and praying the rosary. Miraculously, my colleague and I recovered fully on All Souls Day. Thank you, thank you so much, your loving daughter, and from my colleagues. So we are all inspired by these beautiful letters. Our Lady is with us, and let us continue to pray. The prayer of confidence. Mother of perpetual health, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. 
You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us, poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer. And you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, Mary help, help me. me, let me never lose my God. And we praise the Lord for all the wonders we have received, just as Mary praised God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She's so, so loving, loving, so, so thoughtful, so, so understanding, and so, so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Just one verse on this day, O oh beautiful mother. And let's prepare for a beautiful Christmas as we sing this hymn, page 62. On this day, O oh beautiful mother, on this day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to prove. On this day we ask to share. Well, we continue the Christmas theme uh, of the Novena, and uh, we embrace and look at Jesus. We look at Mary, and we ask Mary to intercede for us in this terrible, critical, pandemic situation. I was watching CNN last night, and a quarter of a million Americans have died. Nearly 12 million have the virus, and it's spreading. It's bad in France, Portugal, Europe. So today, we must pray. As we look at Mary, as we look at Jesus, against the background of our founder, St. Alphonsus, who prepared us in the, his writings for Christmas on the crib, the cross, and the mission of Jesus. And I pray for one. One intention for all of us and for the whole world. And that we experience a spiritual resurrection. 
A spiritual resurrection is a resurrection from our collapsing social life. And we rise up. And we stand. And we look at broken humanity at home, in society, and as we watch television, we can get depressed. What is happening to the world? Everybody is asking this question. We pray for a spiritual resurrection. That our lives will be centered on God. What did Jesus go through? How did Mary handle her crisis? We have to learn all over again as we look at the scriptures. We look at the challenge for us to have an emotional resurrection so that we would not suffer from a paralysis of the Holy Spirit. Denied, we deny the Spirit in us. And we bring the Spirit, the Spirit will revive us. We ignore the Spirit. We ignore the Scriptures. That as we prepare for Christmas, this is a time for spiritual, emotional, social revival, an emotional resurrection. And we look at Mary. What are the dynamics when the angel Gabriel spoke to her? We heard it so many times, you know it. Hail Mary! Full of grace, the Lord is with you. That is our mantra in this pandemic times. And Mary was afraid. And you know what the angel said to her. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. My dear people, St. Alphonsus spoke of the crib. He also spoke of the cross. The total meaning of Christmas when we meditate what Jesus said on the cross to the whole world, especially now, now, today, this very moment. To the repentant thief, he said, today, you will be with me in paradise. It's a time for repentance, a time to realize why Jesus came into this world, a time to realize his mission on the cross for redemption. And he looked down and he said, son, this is your mother. Mother, this is your son. Take home into our hearts, our loved ones. Take home into our hearts as we pray for the tens of thousands of people who are dying every day. And the virus is rising and rising and killing more people. We look, we meditate. As Christmas is approaching, we meditate on the mission of Jesus. We meditate on the sufferings of the Holy Family. The first Christmas was traumatic, difficult. There was no room in the inn. Make room for Jesus in your hearts. And the first Christmas, Herod killed the holy innocence in an attempt to kill Jesus. In that first Christmas, Mary and Joseph with Jesus had to flee to Egypt. So as we prepare for Christmas, we go back and look at Jesus on the cross. What did he say? Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. As we meditate, we meditate on the huge messages of Mary, of Jesus. Meditation is a therapy. It has been proven by scientists. It calms the nerves. 
lowers the blood pressure, gives us that healing that we are seeking for. Because the Word of God is power, is divine. And today, as we prepare for Christmas, we pray for that spiritual resurrection, social resurrection, emotional resurrection. How do we do it? We look at the greatest woman in the world, our Blessed Mother. The assurance came from the angel. Hail Mary, full of grace. We want to share in the fullness of the grace that our Blessed Mother has, and we want to share with the empowering of the Holy Spirit in us. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. Isn't that a beautiful letter we read? I read from Myanmar, the Singapore lady, alone in the hotel room. There's no medication, waiting to die. And perhaps just thinking, I'll go through cremation and all my family members would see our ashes. And she prayed and prayed to Our Lady. She followed the online masses and she was healed. This is almost a physical resurrection when Jesus cried out, Lazarus, come out of the tomb. And Lazarus was dead for four days. This is the gift of Christmas that Almighty God wants to give to the whole world today, right now. And with that gift, we share our enriched humanity with our loved ones. And we have a beautiful, beautiful Christmas as we reflect on the first Christmas. May the Holy Spirit bless you, journey with you, and may you receive all the wonderful spiritual illumination, the light of Christ in your relationships. Amen. We continue to pray. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. All those who are sick, we pray for the doctors, nurses, caregivers, uh, uh, and all those who are suffering from the pandemic virus, all who are alone, we pray for them. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried, and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the for sick. sick. Help, Help them, them to unite, unite themselves with our sufferings. Our sufferings. And, and if it's your will, will may they get better. better. Let, Let them never forget that, that you care for them. them. Amen. Amen. We pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Archbishop, William Go. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As we sing verses 1 and 2, may Our Lady, through intercession, touch you in a very special way. Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, Mother of
given them bread from heaven. Heaven itself will delight. Let us pray. O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you love us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. As I bless you with the true presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, may he revive your spirit and in a mysterious way, may you experience right now the mighty force of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, entering your life. Page 44, as I kneel before you, we continue to remember all our brothers and sisters all over the world. We are one global Novena family. As I kneel. suffering. lost their jobs.
send them to my Lord. Those who want to give up and are depressed. Ave Maria. God bless and love all of you, and please, please take care and take care of one another. Thank you.